Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea, but I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces, too. I'd imagine the daughter of an empress is tougher than you think. My, there is something to you, isn't there? You went and spank the High Overseer in his own house. Can I be of service to you? Can I be of service to you? Attention, all. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later.
Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are reminded that assaulting a member of the City Watch has been made a capital offense. And guardsmen are authorized to carry out this on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally forfeit. Memoir, Chapter 28. Waverly, Waverly, Waverly. The very name sweeps one away. She came into our cold marble hall and brought light and warmth. She changed our lives forever. It was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel, like all the boils. But even so, have you ever died? You will be in the presence of the most important person in the entire known world. You don't know how to curtsy. But she's just a child. And she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find her, I'll have you know. Please learn your manners before then. Sometimes I wonder if the plague is just going to go on and on and on and kill everyone ever and it's the end of the world. Think of that. Emergency grain rations will be available in the Civil Services District at Sunrise. Please see your tax assessor to secure food coupons before requesting rations. Sometimes I think this conspiracy feels like the start of a joke, don't you? An admiral, an aristocrat, and an overseer walk into a bar. I wonder what the punchline will be. Every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and action. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route.
arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Dust here, dust there. Dust, it feels like the whole dust. world is dusty. Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints. If anyone is Don't. My brought you tea is a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry. I only thought. Never mind. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the admiral. He has news for me. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Cormo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with them to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holker Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. 
Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street for a boat. You're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. What a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. Some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear. He's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. I don't think they're gonna last much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir stuff, I guess. It's what they call irony, I think. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness, fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives you the plague. Well, how would I know? It's some other work then. Anyway, I almost feel sorry for the poor fools that drank that bad elixir. Need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest of us get one part elixir, three parts of water. Well, that's just to make the swaddle. Well, I ain't taking no chances on. Getting the plague. Drink till you drop. That's my motto.
He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brew tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so, and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cant. I'm right, ain't I? See? Slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. <coughs> Get this guy! I'm gonna loot your corpse! Nice. 